Give yourself the gift of unlimited with Sprint's Unlimited Freedom Plan. Enjoy unlimited mobile optimized streaming videos, gaming, music, and data starting at $20 per month per line for a family of five when you bring your number to Sprint. You'll never have to worry about running out of data or surprise overcharges again. Dash to a Sprint store at Sprint.com slash freedom or call 1-800-SPRINT-1 today. Includes lines 3 through 5 free until 131.18. After pay additional $30 per month for line prices with auto pay. Coverage and offer not everywhere for discounted phone subject to credit and $30 activation fees. Includes taxes, surcharges, warming and premium content. Limited for video up to 480p. Music up to 500 kilobits per second and games up to 2 megabits per second. Prohibited network use rules apply and data deprioritization during congestion restrictions apply. Blog Talk Radio. for tuning in to Ask Your Angels and radio and TV show. If you'd like to call in to have a mini reading, you can call 323-870-4060. That number again is 323-870-4060. You'll need to press 1 to ask a question. Otherwise, you will be in listener mode only. Now, for those of you that are watching via Ustream TV, please note that if you are or on the radio also, there's going to be a time delay, so I suggest only listening either via the radio or through Ustream TV. If you would like to view me through the TV, go to www.victoriaalvarado.com and click on the TV show page. Now, today's messages for the angels, or the messages from the angels today, are uh, releasing old habits. So Spirit said that an old habit may be keeping you from moving forward. And the more that you believe that you can't let go of something that is no longer serving you, the more you give your power away. Spirit says that what are you waiting for? You have the choice. The choice truly is yours. You can choose to let the old, worn-out, bad habits go, or you can choose to let it consume you. This habit truly is holding you back. And it is keeping you from moving forward and feeling good in your own skin. You do not feel good when you indulge in the old, worn-out way of being. It is time to let go of what is no longer serving you. Whether that is negative belief systems where you're telling yourself that, oh, I'm not good enough, or I'm never going to succeed, or believing that you're just a failure, whatever it is, whether you're telling yourself that, oh, I'm not worthy of love, I, I, I'm just never going to be successful. This negative self-talk has to stop. Even negative belief systems can really, 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 really wreak havoc in your life. But even telling, what you need to do right now is tell yourself that you are worthy of whatever it is that you're wanting. Whether you're wanting to find your soulmate, whether you're wanting to manifest money into your mind, what does that mean that you are trying to manifest the right career? Whatever it is, if your belief system tells you, I can't be with someone because of their religious or ethnic background, or whether or not you're saying to yourself that, uh, let's say, all people are ugly or no one pays attention to me, whatever it is that you're telling yourself, you have to let this go. And the best way to tell yourself that you are worthy or the best practices that you can do is looking at yourself in the mirror and telling yourself, I love you. Every morning you say, you're successful. Or you're worthy of being in love. Or whatever it is that you need to hear from other people, cancel that out. You don't need to hear it from other people. You have to hear it from yourself because it starts with you first. Okay, the only way that you can let go of bad habits that no longer serve you is you checking yourself first and loving yourself first and learning to make the choice that you're going to do what truly is best for your own interest. Again, that means also letting go of what no longer serves you, whether that's people, whether it's a relationship that you're in, or just your own negative self-talk or negative belief systems. These do not serve you at all. Now, I really think that the message that I channeled earlier was really, really good because today's topic is twin flame union and how to make the connection. Now, let me just say this, is that you have to let go of old habits. 
if you're wanting to attract your twin flame, because the reason why I'm, this topic today is very interesting is because I've been getting a lot of my clients asking me, hey, Victoria, when are you going to do your twin flame union or um, make that connection class again when you're getting ready to have it? And I'm not, quite, I'm not quite sure as far as what date or when I'm going to have that done, but I want to try to help you guys manifest that twin flame union on your own today by showing you steps on how to get it done. But first, the biggest step is letting go of old habits that are keeping you from attracting your soulmate. Okay, and again, letting go of negative belief systems. That's what, I'm, I'm going to say this over and over and over again because if you feel that you truly are not worthy of receiving a soulmate, if you really truly feel and believe that, I, you know, I have a client that says, I'm just meant to be alone and die alone and have a million cats. If that is your belief system and your heart is yearning for love, you're pretty much fighting against and you're putting that wall up already saying that I'm not going to be with anybody because there's just no point. What, what's the point of even trying? So that's the negative self-talk or the negative imprint that you have to find within yourself that you have to clear out. So we also have to see what the negative imprint is. Now, Spirit says that a lot of us have either grown up looking at our parents as, um, as a, uh, an understanding of what relationships are. So in other words, if you grew up in a household where it's just your mom that raised you or your father's the only one that raised you and they were single for a really long time, or maybe you had both your parents, or maybe the situation was that you grew up in a household where there was division, where they never talked, or they bickered, or maybe you came up, you came, you you came out of a um, a parent childhood parent relationship where there was a divorce, okay? And those things you have to clear out first. The biggest step in trying to find your twin flame and how to make that connection is that you have to clear out childhood memories and you also have to um, forgive anyone who has ever hurt you in your adulthood. I really want to say that you guys should go back to the last audios that I've done and look for the, the unconditional love and forgiveness activation audio because that's something that this is a step that is required. So step one is you have to find out what your negative belief systems are, okay, what your negative self-talk is, and cut that out or remove it. Whether you have to, to add affirmations to help you or you're just asking the angels to please cancel that thought. Cancel, remove, delete, okay? Cancel, clear, delete. That's the question. That's, that's it right there. Cancel, clear, delete. That negative belief system out of my memory bank, out of my conscious memory. Then you're going to heal your ancestral traits, your, your ancestral generational lineage. So I also have that audio on um, blog talk or on my website as well where you're going to clear out your ancestral traits. And that's the thing, is that if you have a family history, and this is what Spirit's talking to me about, I had a client a couple weeks ago who had a family history that every person in her, in her, in her life, every relative-wise, Everyone was divorced or had relationship problems, but mostly every person in her life from nine generations back have all been divorced. And because she didn't want to end up that same way, it's almost like that negative self-talk, well, I'm destined for doom or our family's cursed, so there's just no way that I'm going to be with, with my twin flame or my soulmate. This was all negative self-talk. This is all a negative belief system that needed to be healed. At the same time, she also had to let go, or you guys as well, you also have to let go of what no longer serves you. If you are in a relationship that is physically and verbally abusive, where there's not any support whatsoever in that relationship, or if you're around negative people, or around a lot of single people that downplay or talk badly about being in relationships, those people do not serve your whole purpose of being in a relationship. You've got to distance yourself from those people. Okay? Surround yourself around 
positive, uplifting people or surround yourself around people that are, are in relationships that that you feel um, compelled that they're that looking at them inspires you, whatever it is. But at the same time, spirit is also saying that you have to do some core cutting as well. So this is what my suggestion is to you guys. Once you have pinpointed what your negative belief systems are and what your negative self-talk is, you're going to release that. You're going to ask them to cancel, clear, delete. One. And the angel that you need to work with is Archangel Samuel and the angels of Roman. So you're going to call them in and you're going to say, Archangel Raphael, uh, Raphael he wants to be here too. Archangel Raphael, Archangel Samuel, and, and the angels of Roman, I want you to heal my heart, my mind, my body, and my soul. And I want you to do a complete scan of my subconscious mind and reveal to me what it is that is blocking me from finding true love. What negative belief system or negative self-talk needs to be eliminated today? And you're going to take a brief moment to listen to that message. And when you hear it, you ask them to cancel, clear, and delete it and replace it with a positive affirmation. Now, we're going to also ask you to Listen to the Ancestral Clearing audio on Blog Talk or through my website and the Unconditional Love and Forgiveness audio because you're going to want to forgive anybody that has ever hurt you and clear your family lineage and history of, of negative romantic belief systems, okay? Now, the other thing is that you're going to ask Archangel Michael to cut away any cord, any cord connecting you to your ex-boyfriends or anybody who has impacted you in a negative way when it comes to romance and finding love. And that means whether it was a friend who constantly takes your, your boyfriend or your girlfriend or someone that's constantly getting in the way or whatever situation or person or people, you need to cut the cords to that. Okay? Now, once you have completed doing that, you are going to get a pink handle. I'm not saying red because we want to use pink because we want it to be a pure love connection. It doesn't matter how big the candle is, but we do want it to be one that is a votive candle or a paper candle, not one that's in a glass encased uh, like the seven-day glass candles that you find at the store at Fiesta. You want to get maybe at Hobby Lobby or Michael's a tapered or a paper or a uh, votive candle, a pink one. And then you are going to look for what I call, um, it is through daughtersofiases.com. They have a pure love oil, okay, that you can, that you, I recommend using. Don't buy the love drawing oils or trapping romance oil. This one here. Is, is pure love oil. It's like really, really, really strong. And it'll say Yaya Queen on there. But you get it through daughtersofiases.com. Okay? And this is what's going to happen. When you're ready to make your devotion and to accept devotion of pure love, you're going to use this oil. Okay? And you're going to cut a fresh white rose on a full moon night under the, under the full moon. Okay? You're going to make sure you get a white rose. Okay, and you're going to whisper the secret desires, filling your heart into the soft folds of the, the waiting petals, okay, of the rose. Then you're going to vibe it up. You're going to put three drops of pure love oil into the center of the rose to vibe it up. And you're going to take a tall pink candle and dress it with pure love oil. And then you're going to add your desires, your dreams of devotion, the type of person that you want. I would suggest using a, um, a picture frame that you can place next to this little ritual that you're getting ready to do. And I want you to imagine, imagine uh, the type of person that you want, the, the ideal person. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to say this real quick, though. Do not do this ritual to find a specific person. This is to find your soulmate, your twin flame, someone that you have not met yet, who has not revealed themselves to you yet. 
You do not want to use this for a specific person because that you cannot mess with free will. Okay? It is in the Bible. God has talked about it time and time again that you cannot mess with free will. And if God messed with free will, you know, he doesn't do that. So why would we want to do it? Okay? So God doesn't mess with free will because he wants us to love him on his own. So we want to make sure that we, we attract someone who is a pure love, meaning that they love us on their own free will. They are attracted to us. They want to be with us. They want to share a union with us that is pure, not based on false pretenses. So do not do this ritual on someone specific, okay? And before you um, start to begin the candle ritual, you can even write down the attributes of the type of person that you want to attract in your life whether he is tall, whether she is short, whether she's petite, whether she, he or she is, is um, fun to be around, very funny, loves to dance, you know, anything positive. Also make sure that you we got to be very specific here, guys. So you got to make sure that you put on there that this person, he or she has a job, okay? Because spirit will bring you the person that you place on your list, and then they won't have a job at all and, and it's just going to make things even more difficult. So be very, very, very specific on what you want, okay? You're going to write down the attributes, and then when you get ready to light your pink candle after you have dressed it with your pure love oil, you are going to vibe it up with your desire. This is what you put on your piece of paper that you have written all the attributes, what you wanted, whether he, he or she is tall, whether she loves to dance, whether she... We want to put loyal, and we want to put... Um, family oriented, if that's what you're looking for, loves to travel, whatever it is in this here. Also put supportive because you're going to want to attract someone who is supportive of you just as you are them, okay? Now, you're going to put your desires and your dreams of devotion. Then you're going to imagine yourself standing next to this person and taking a snapshot picture because eventually you're going to see and imagine yourself placing it into the picture frame that's there with your ritual. Okay. Now, the other thing, too, what you can do is the pictures that you're going to place into it or the picture frame, keep it pure. You can rub it down with sea salt to cleanse it and wrap it in white cloth to charm it if that's what you want to do. You know, the rose petals, the frame, your, your little uh, petition, whatever it is. And then what you're going to do is every night for three nights, you are going to envision. You're going to go to this candle and you're going to just put down what it is that you're wanting. And imagine that this twin flame union is happening now. See him or her walking through the door and seeing how you know exactly who this person is. And when you sit down and meditate on it, spirit will show you their face. And even if you don't see their face, they will show you their silhouette or you will sense a vibe about what this person looks like. On the fourth day that you light this candle and you burn it, okay, you're going to take a picture frame, 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 sorry, you're going to take a picture frame and you're going to place it by your bedside and just every day just imagine that you're placing the picture of you and this person in it. Okay, so that is how you manifest or how you connect with your twin flame and how to, how to manifest them and bring them into your life. This pure love oil ritual that I'm telling you about, I want to say from experience, is it, it, it manifests within six months. And the reason why I say this is that, how, that is exactly how I met my spouse today. We've been married for eight years, going on nine next year. And I was at a place where I was so sick and tired of meeting um, jerks and people that all they wanted was one thing. They didn't want to settle down. They just want to pretty much, you know, you know. Uh, what I guess the word that they're calling it is um, um, a, a playmate or a toy or whatever you want to say. Okay. And I can't really say that word on air because it's a curse word on air. So. <laughs> But you guys get my direct on what I'm talking about. It's someone who's not ideal of being in a committed relationship with. So I was tired of 
being with Mr. Wrong, and I wanted to manifest Mr. Right. And, of course, I learned from experience that there's certain things that you have to be very specific. Spirit always tells me that whenever you ask for something, be very, very, very specific. Okay? Now, when this person comes in, you're just going to automatically know you're going to hit it off. And let me just say this, is that everyone that has used this ritual that I've given it to have met their, their Mr. Right or Mrs. Right within six months, and they have automatically gotten married immediately. Me, it took three months, and another lady, it took her six to eight weeks. They automatically got married, and they have been together for five, six years now. Okay, so this ritual works. But again, as I said before, do not use this ritual to bring in or draw in a specific person because I'm going to tell you right now that if this person comes in, if you use it, say, for instance, oh, I want to bring Bob in or I want to bring Jose in or or, I want this person to love me and I'm going to use this ritual, they are going to come in, yes, but the relationship is going to be so negative it, there is going to be the opposite effect where it's going to fail anyway because it's not pure. It's not pure. Okay? So I'm going to uh, go to the phone lines right now, and I'm going to take some calls now. If you guys are wanting to receive angelic guidance or uh, want to get messages from the other side, you can call 323 870 Four zero six zero, and make sure to press one to ask a question because otherwise you will be in listener mode only. So here we go. Hello, caller area code two five six. You are live on the air. Thank you so much for holding. Yes, my name is uh, Kimberly, and I desire to know. Um, not even a time frame um, for a romantic interest. Okay. So, Kimberly, they're they're telling me that there's possibly somebody you've already met about two weeks ago, or something about that's already in the making. Who is this person that you met two weeks ago that you've only met maybe once or had one conversation with? Um, that it feels like you had a brief moment of a, of a connection. What does this mean to you? Uh, I haven't met anyone, so I don't know. Okay. So let me just say this, is that I'm being told that this is something that's happening already, okay? So it, it just feels like within the next two weeks, it just feels like there's a brief moment of a connection between you and this tall this person feels a little older, but not much older, like a year or two older, okay? This person feels tall to me, and it makes me feel like, bring it in closer. This makes me feel in the next two weeks. It just feels like it's happening now, and I feel like that's why, since it's so close and so nearby, that it makes me feel like it's already happening now, or you've already happened, it's already taken place, Okay. Spirit says that there's going to be a brief connection between the two of you. But it's so funny is that it's almost like you're going to forget to exchange numbers, okay? <laughs> but it would, after a month, you're going to run into each other again and spark up a flame and a connection with this person, okay? But here's the thing. Did you just move, hon, or why do I feel like you're new to the area? Are you new to the dating stuff? Um, well, I haven't dated in a while, but I'm I'm definitely not new to the area, but I'll be moving this summer. I'm not going to stay in this area. Ah, okay, okay. So let me, let me, yeah, so this is why they're telling me something about you being new to the area, new to, new to the area when you meet this person. So again, maybe it's not two weeks then, <laughs> but it makes me feel like it's already happening now. You know what I mean? So they're, they're telling mm-hmm. me that it's like you're new to the area and it just feels like slightly after you move. Uh, that's what they're saying. Two weeks after your move is when you're going to meet this person. And it's like I said, you're going to have an instant connection, but in that instant connection, you're going to forget to exchange numbers. 
excuse me. And but after a month, you were gonna bump into this person again and strike up that connection again. And this time, you're not gonna forget, or he's not gonna let you forget to exchange numbers with him. Okay. Okay. You're gonna know who he is because there's something about his smile or his lips. Okay. Here, let me ask you something, Kimberly. Do you like men with big, full lips? I do. And okay, so there's something about his his lips that are just like like a L L L L. Can't even talk right now. L L Cool J kind of type lips, like really, really nice smile, everything, and it's like that's what's going to catch your attention about him. Okay. 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 So this is after you move. Right after you move. Two weeks after you move. Okay. All right, okay. so I'm going to leave you with that, sweetheart. Thank you so much. All right. Thank, thank you Bye-bye. very much. Bye. All right, so we are going to go to area code 248. Let me clear the connection. Thank you, Spirit. All right, here we go. Area code 248, you're live on the air. How can I help you? Hi, Victoria. I just had a question. Um, what state do you see me and my future wife living in, and would her family accept her coming out? Will her family accept her coming out? You know, let me just say this, is that I kind of feel like the male siblings will take more uh, we'll take it lightly, like be more like okay with this. But there's a female sibling, I'm not sure if this is her older sister or her mom that looks just like her, but it feels like it's going to take her some time to get used to it. Okay. Uh-huh. Now let me say something here. Are, are y'all, you guys aren't moving to Texas, are y'all? Um. I don't know. That's why I was I was calling to see. Um, you gave me a, a word last month, which I do believe was accurate, and um, you was just telling me to give her some time. Um, I'm in Georgia okay. right now, and she's in Michigan, so I was wondering, like, what state you do you feel of living in? Living in? Well, it's really, it's really because it's. It's weird because I don't know why I'm feeling Texas, but I know you guys aren't from Texas, period, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it feels okay. like you took a brief, a brief stay or a brief um, visit for some reason to get to get away. And it feels like also it may, it may feel like even going to Louisiana for a little bit around that time. Mm-hmm. So it feels like you guys are going to, to take a little bit of a mini vacay just to kind of get away from everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, why am I getting six months or within the next six weeks that you guys are planning on making this move or coming out completely? Um, you did tell me last month that she was going to just come out and just say she can't lie about her, I guess, feelings anymore and that she was going to come out to a family, you said, mm-hmm. like, about six months. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so let me just say this, sweetheart, is that, is that I'm not sure if this is her older sister or this, this one woman that's not going to like it in, at, in the very beginning. Kind of sure you suspect it, but it's almost like I think she's not going to like it because she waited so long to say something or the way she's going about it. Okay? Mm-hmm. Whatever she does, tell her not to just say it over the phone or like a text, <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like make sure she sits down with, with the family to tell them and talk to them because that will be the easiest way to break the news. Mm-hmm. But I'm still okay. showing six months with the six months or with the six, the number six, okay? And that's okay. kind of like to June. You know, with timing, you never really know when they give you a, a number, you know, spirit. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. in the end, things are going to, in other words, they'll, they'll accept it. It's not going to be as bad as you think. Mm-hmm. Okay, but it's the way that she brings it out. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's the thing: is it about work for her too, as well? It's about you say, is it about work? Yeah, yeah she is. 
and I think it's, it's also kind of like if you move, you guys need to move where both you guys can find work, and that's the thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. This feels like it's around Texas or slightly outside of Texas that you may look, but I don't think that that's where y'all are going to settle in at. Okay. Oh, how okay. would her children feel about it? How would what? Her her children, how you think they'll about it. You know, I'm being told that they only want her to be happy. Right. Mm-hmm. That's all that matters to them. Mm-hmm. Okay? That's all that matters to them. Mm-hmm. But I honestly feel like they already kind of, I feel like somebody already suspects already anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, or someone's already kind of aware, but just, you know, isn't sure, doesn't want to say anything just yet because they don't want to be wrong. Mm-hmm. But her children will not be mad at her. Okay. Okay. I'm going to leave you with that, hon. Okay, thank you and so I much. You check, okay? All right, bye-bye. Okay, bye. Mm-hmm. All right. So we are going to area code six seven eight. So I'm asking spirit to raise my vibration and clear the area for me. Help me to have a strong connection. Okay. Six seven eight, you're on the air. How can I help you? Six seven eight, you're on the air. Hi, my name is Kathy. Um and I was trying um, to find out, um, I had some damage to my house, and I had to um, call by the contractor, so I had to file a claim with their insurance company um, for damages to my home and then damages to my personal property, like my furniture, stuff like that. Okay. Um, so let me ask you, who are you going around and around in circles with? <laughs> the insurance company, the insurance company um, slash my attorney. It's just like a flaw. They, they don't. They don't. Okay, so let me say something. They don't want to pay, but it's also almost like are they trying to say that you didn't have it? Like, did your insurance claim expire at a certain time, or say that you didn't have a certain coverage? Um, you you're you're. you're they're saying that the contractor doesn't have coverage for damages. Um, for dam, they don't rephrase. There's the insurance company is saying that they don't pay for shoddy work, but it's not shoddy work. My house is damaged, um, so it's and it's a play on words. So you're you're right if that helps you out. Yeah, because they they don't they. They're trying to get out of having to pay anything, okay? Yeah. And is this a is this a female lawyer that you have right now helping you? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. She is going to get the job done. She knows exactly how to deal with these people, but it feels like, oh God, it feels like they may not be able to get anything settled until January, the end of January, for some reason. Okay. And it's almost like they're going to try to they're they're going to play phone tag or something with each other because they are trying to stall as long as they can. But there's a deadline they have to meet, and everything has to be resolved by January. And what's the deadline? I don't know anything about a deadline. What for their yeah. internal purposes or something? Yeah, there's a deadline, or there's like certain deadline or something they have to meet come January, or it, it maybe this is a deadline that your female lawyer is going to uh, give them, in other words, for a response. I'm also being told that I'm also being told that they may need to send someone else out, or another insurance adjuster, or someone else out to take a look at the property. Okay. Someone okay. else is going to come out or needs to come out to assess the damages again. Okay. Um, let me just say this. If they say this is something that needs to be done, I kind of feel like 
she's going to want to say no because they have every evidence that they need or everything that you provided to finish this. And spirit is saying that they are going to settle. They may, they may not give you as much as you thought you were wanting. It's almost like they're going to pay for, how can I explain it? They're going to pay for the damages according to the coverage. But whatever extended coverage that they supposedly say they can't pay, they're going to settle for a certain amount for that. Okay? Okay. If, if so you understand the, what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I, I think so. I know. So, so basically, they set no on damages now, but the attorney is going to do the magic, and then they're going to settle on some amount for the damages, Correct. Correct, correct. Then correct. what about the content stuff? Um, also, which that is covered, they're just trying to, um, they've asked me, you're correct again, when they've asked me for the same details um, that, I, that they're submitting again to them. So do you see me having problems with that? No, that's gonna get that's gonna be fully paid. Okay. So like that's gonna be fully taken care of. Okay. Um and you said by end of January you said? Yeah, I wanna say by the twenty first. By the twenty first of January. Like it's all this okay. is gonna be settled by then. Okay. Um okay. And no news um, this month. Any back and forth this month, or it's that gonna be very, dead. It's, it's going to be back and forth this month because let me just say this: is that with the holidays kind of coming up and people leaving, it's like it's going to be a lot of back and forth. You know what I mean? Like right. phone tag kind of, kind of situation. Okay, but again, it will be taken care of at least by the twenty first of January. Okay, and. Just on your website, your name and dot com to contact you personally, correct? Yes, ma'am. Victoria Alvarez okay. dot com. Okay, you, okay. You're, you're pretty. You're, I, I will try and get in contact with you. Thank you. You're welcome, hon. Good luck, okay? Uh huh. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, so I have uh, I have time for one more caller. We will have to make sure that it is pretty quick because we only have seven minutes. So I am going to go to area code. Which one are you trying to go to, Spirit? We're going to go to 860. Hello. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm doing good. What is your first name and what can the angels help you with, sweetheart? Uh, my, what's my birthday, did you say? Or my first name? No, your first name. <laughs> your first name. Oh, it's Amla. <laughs> it's Amla. Amla. Okay. Yes. And so, what, what's going on, what's going on at work? Um, I'm doing a lot of writing. I'm a writer. Ah, okay, okay. So, what are your questions in regards to that, or what were your questions, on? Because I, I do feel like, we need to talk about that as well. Yes, I do. I do. Um, so I am looking for a relationship, a twin flame. I love what you had to say. Oh, it's beautiful what you said at the beginning. So I'm just wondering if you see that the Mr. Right for me. Okay, so here's the thing. It's a two-play type thing here. There's a major contract coming up right now, right, that you have pending. Wait, what did you say, Victoria? Can you please speak? That you have a major contract right now pending right now. Yes, uh, with somebody, yes, yeah. Uh, okay, let me say something here. I feel okay. that this person is, is a writer, or he's a writer too, or he's in the writing industry, yes. Yes. and he has something yes. to do with that contract or that company that's doing the contract. Yes. Okay, yes. He has either not stepped up or revealed himself yet, but I definitely okay. feel that you will be spending Valentine's with this person. Really? Is he the is, is yeah. he the teacher guy? 
the teacher guy. He's a teacher. <sighs> he works at a university. Let me ask Sarah. Sarah, is he the teacher guy? You know what? And I normally don't take my cards out, but I'm going to take them out real quick. Is the person <laughs> that we're talking about a teacher guy too? And the first card I pulled out, and I'm going to show it to you guys, is yes. So if you go to Ustream TV and you watch it, I'm actually showing and holding up the card right now so that you guys can see that the card says yes. And I want to make sure that you guys see that. Hold it up wow. closer to Okay. So you're seeing now. Okay, go ahead, Victoria. Go ahead. So is he also with the same publishing company or is he also writing or doing something with writing with that as well? What am I doing? I'm sorry. Is he a part of the same publishing company, or is he a writer as well? He's he writes as well. He he's he's professor by profession. Ah, but gotcha. he writes. Gotcha. He's a writer. Okay. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Thank you so much for confirming that. So definitely feel like by February, by February, uh, Valentine's, you will be spending it with this person. Okay, but let me say this. Um, I'm not, you have already been doing your own twin flame stuff already to try to attract this person, right? Is yes. that correct? Yes, that's right. And actually, okay. he's been in my dreams. I haven't even noticed. I like it's crazy. I'm seeing like vivid, beautiful pinks and oranges, like the sunset. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. So this this is confirmation for you, sweetheart, that. He, he is the one that spirit is saying that you manifested. But either he is either afraid of coming forward. Why is it's almost like afraid of rejection. Someone's afraid of rejection, so they're afraid of coming forward. It's me. It's me because the, the thing is, is that he's not available. I am not that person who you talk about free will. I, I completely right. agree. His heart needs to do his thing. I'm not doing anything. Okay. So just allow, yeah. allow it to take place because even though he is attached, and I was, let me just say this, even though he is attached, he's not going to be for long. Okay. okay. And it's going to end based on her hand, not his. You know what I mean? Interesting. He, he, yeah. So give it until February the 14th because I see you guys spending Valentine's together. Because you know what, I understand that the, the, what's so weird is that, like, he really seems like he's into her. I don't know, I, I but I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stay away, like, completely away from all of this. No, she, yeah. she's going to, it's going to be by her hand, not his. And that's when he's going to realize. Okay. 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 So just let it, play I will, it needs to be. Okay. This is interesting. Okay, this, gonna, is gonna I, be, this is going to be blowing I gotta, I gotta let you go, hon. Yeah, I do got to let you go, though, because we only got one minute left. So I leave you with that, okay? Okay. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, so that's uh, a wrap for the show. I want to thank you for tuning in to Ask Your Angels radio slash TV show. If you would like to schedule a private reading, please visit me please visit me at www.victoriaalvarado.com. And you can follow me on Facebook at, at uh, facebook.com, Psychic Victoria Alvarado. You can also see an instant replay of this show by going to my website at victoriaalvarado.com and selecting the TV show page. Thank you so much for tuning in, and you guys have a blessed, blessed day. When you don't go to Geico.com, car insurance can be confusing. Like, Swedish techno confusing. Bark, bark, meow, meow. Dance with me, purple cow. Bark, bark, meow, meow. Ooh, you lovely cow. Geico makes it easy. With 24-7 access, all you have to do is go to Geico.com and you could save money on car insurance. It just makes sense. Unlike, you know. Dance with me, purple cow. I like your mood. 
Give yourself the gift of unlimited with Sprint's unlimited freedom plan. Enjoy unlimited mobile optimized streaming videos, gaming, music, and data starting at $20 per month per line for a family of five when you bring your number to Sprint. You'll never have to worry about running out of data or surprise overcharges again. Dash to a Sprint store at Sprint.com slash freedom or call 1-800-SPRINT-1 today. Includes lines 3 through 5 free until one thirty one eighteen. After pay additional $30 per month for line prices with auto pay. Coverage and offer not everywhere for discounted phone subject to credit and $30 activation fee. Excludes taxes, surcharges, warming, and premium content. Limited for video up to 480p. Music up to 500 kilobits per second. And games up to 2 megabits per second. Prohibited network use rules apply. And data to prioritization during congestion restrictions apply.